Hello everybody, Caden here today with, um, Planet Zoo, which is, uh, <laughs> the, the first time I've ever recorded this, and the first time I've ever really done a, t uh, like, a, a time lapse? No, not a time lapse, a uh, voiceover for a video, which is kind of weird, it's kind of weird for me. Anyway, uh, welcome to the video, um, this is actually, I'm gonna preface this before we get into this, this is the third time I, this is like the third time I've played Planet Zoo, I have only four hours in the game, two of which were the tutorial level, and one of which was just making this video, and then the other hour was like me messing around with some of the terrain tools uh, before I started this. Anyway, um, what, I'm, what am I doing here? Oh, I, I was trying to make a barrier wall between the fence and the uh, and the pathway, kind of like what I do in Dinos. If you see me play that uh, with my like glass barriers, usually. Uh, but yeah, that was that's what I was doing. Uh, but anyway, uh, we're putting rhinos in, and. <laughs> I don't know, it's weird for me to make a video like this because I'm so used to like live commentary, not, you know, recording commentary after the fact. But anyway, yeah, this is, it's, the video kind of started in, in like the middle of the things because I did work, uh, you can see like that big square and stuff. I spent about 25 minutes making that and I decided it wasn't really worth putting that in the video. Uh, but like I said, I haven't really played the game much. Um, I kind of know the basics of how like some of the tools work, but I'm not like an expert or anything. So this exhibit, is, if you're expecting someone like, who does professional builds, I'm not that person, unfortunately. I wish I was, I really wanna get there, but uh, this is like the first exhibit, real exhibit I've ever made. So it, it's kind of just learning how the game kind of functions. Uh, but anyway, we I, I decided to do, did I mention we're doing the Indian rhinoceros? I don't think I did. Uh, we're doing the Indian rhinoceros for our first animal because I thought that was a cool one. I like, I love Indian rhinos. I think they're awesome. Uh, just fantastic creatures. I, well, mostly because I love rhinos in general. Rhinos are some of my favorite animals. That and pangolins. I, I love pangolins too. Um, oh, over here, I'm putting a, a staff center in. Now, I know you can make custom buildings with this uh, game. I know you can do like tons of stuff with that. I didn't do any of that this video just because I, I don't really know how. I'm not very comfortable with the building system yet, so I kind of want to wait till I've learned a bit more. And then hopefully in future exhibits or future zoos, if we continue doing more than one series of this, uh, I'll kind of figure it out uh, and make my own buildings and stuff like that. Because I'd like to learn, I just, I think I need a bit more time with the game, uh, which I didn't really spend with beforehand. I, I definitely should have spent a bit more time before this video kind of learning it all. Uh, anyway, <laughs> kind of rambling on here. Anyway, um... I did a big elevated path up there because I thought that would be cool. Um, and as you can see, I set up this like back wall, which as you can see right here, I'm about to uh, make a rock wall because it's a, it's a Caden video and you know, it wouldn't be a Caden video if uh, I didn't make a rock wall in the, in the back of an enclosure. Now we'll say, uh, coming from more recently, Minecraft with the wildlife park and the dino series and in the past, Zoo Tycoon 2 with tons of mods, I'm used to rock walls not taking very long, <laughs> and I think usually a rock wall in Minecraft maybe takes me 20 minutes or less to put together, probably like 10 minutes. Uh, in Zoo Tycoon 2, it would take me 5 minutes to put a big rock wall together. I think this took about half the time I was building to construct, so uh, yeah, um, yeah, no, it, it was a bit crazy. Anyway, um... <laughs> As you can see, I'm kind of learning. I, I'm really glad I did the rock wall. It did take forever, and it's gonna be most of this time lapse, I think, me trying to learn how to use it. But I have to say, although I'm not really used to Zoo Tech, or not Zoo to Planet Zoo and kind of how it, it built, I, I, this was a great way to learn how like you can do all the rotations with with props and stuff like that. Because I mean, obviously, I, I had to do a lot of that here to kind of get it to work. And I have to say, I love it. I love the amount of rocks we have. I love the amount of like just shapes and stuff and sizes and the fact every single one can be rotated so much. It's fantastic. It really is. It, it, was, it definitely leads to a lot of creativity. Um, and I have to say, I'm very much looking forward to doing more with it in the future. Uh, as you can see, I'm being very meticulous, trying to fill all the little, like, crevices and stuff. Um, I wanted to put a waterfall here, because, you know, I, I like myself some waterfalls. I did have to figure out, you have to unpause the game to actually see the effects. Uh, and then I try to make a river up here. Uh, to be honest, the, the elevated pathway, box bounding, and some of the other path bounding stuff, and, like, what it'll allow you to terraform kind of kind of threw me a bit, and I wasn't really sure how to deal with it. So I just went with what I would do on dinos, and I just made a... Uh, like a little rock face outcropping thing to put the waterfall in, because then I didn't have to explain where it was coming from or anything like that. It just could exist. 
uh, which is something I like to do with my waterfalls. <laughs> I don't like to have logical explanations of where they come from. They originate from like the center of the earth and that's all the logic I need. <laughs> Whew. Anyway, um, yeah, it, I have to say it was a lot of fun learning this game. Um, I'm very much looking forward to doing more videos in the future. I, I'm definitely gonna throw in a bit more practice, I think, before uh, the next video, if we do another video. If you guys, let me know if you guys wanna see more Planet Zoo. Um, I'm not necessarily sure how well this video is gonna do. Uh, Cause again, it's it, it, it's weird for me to do this because every other series I've done uh, recently, or at least once the channel's gotten more popular, uh, is something I know how to do. Dinos I know how to do, Planet Zoo I know how- or not Planet Zoo, Wildlife Park I know how to do, all that stuff. I don't know how to play Planet Zoo really, I've got- like I said I've got four hours in the game, so my knowledge of how it works is pretty low, but if you guys want to uh, continue to see more videos of this, let me know in the comments down below. I I'm very much interested in seeing what you guys want to watch. Um, anyway, <laughs> uh... I, I'm pretty happy with how the rock wall turned out in the end. It was a pain to build. It really was. It took so long, but I, at the end, I was really happy with how it looked. I, I loved the amount of customization I had uh, and just the sheer amount of stuff I could do with it. it. It was really cool. It was really, really cool. And at the end, like I don't really feel like it looks like it's a, you know, the same props sometimes used like seven or eight times. It looks like different props and different textures and shapes and stuff, and I love that that's something I can do. I, I really do. I, it was kind of awesome. <laughs> um, anyway, I do think the time, lapse, the time lapse actually ends before I finish building the exhibit, and I think that's because I was planning on doing like the final bits of it like live or something like that, and then I think I didn't even hit the record button, which is unfortunate, and that happens a lot with me sometimes when I'm trying to do different styles of content. Uh, but anyway, <laughs> we're looking here now, and now we're getting to the part I was most excited for. Oh, there's the shelter. Again, I didn't build my own custom shelter, I just used this default uh, East Asian one. I actually quite like how it looks, I think it's quite a cool looking building. Uh, but I did want to customize it a bit, so as you can see here, I'm, I'm looking for, I believe, Ivy. Is it Ivy? Yeah, it's Ivy. Uh, which I thought looked kind of cool. I liked having it draped down. I like that that's a feature in the game. Uh, I, always, I always like having plants kind of like hanging off my buildings. I always think it's a cool design. Um, I, I'm messing around with some of the like effects and stuff. I, I didn't really know what it did, so I was trying to find stuff. Anyway, like I said, uh, we're getting to the part that I was most excited for, and that was putting plants in the exhibits, because, you know, I, I in Zoo Tycoon 2, that was my favorite thing. I had lots of mods that added tons of plants and allowed me to place as many plants as I wanted, wherever I wanted, with tons of cool rocks. This game is a bit more realistic than Zoo Tycoon 2, more like Zoo Tycoon 1, which was I was never as big of a fan of for the pure reason of I couldn't chalk tons and tons of plants in. Uh, although I, I'm doing something here that I haven't done in Dinos really that I want to do, but uh, that I used to do all the time in Zoo Tycoon. Uh, and that is putting like dirt pathways down in the exhibits, like areas where the animals would have gone. I think I should definitely throw in a bit more like uh, terrain deviation in this exhibit in all honesty. Like if I were to go back and improve it right now, I throw in some hills and some dips as well uh, to kind of just break up the monotony of like a flat plane. Uh, but anyway, anyway, uh, I want to do this on dinos as well, just adding in these dirt paths because I think it looks super cool when you add it all in. But anyway, uh, foliage wise, and you're kind of going to get an idea of it uh, as we kind of go. But uh, I'm used to Zoo Tycoon 2 where I could put as much of it in as I wanted. So I would always like heavily forest my exhibits. Or like not all of them, but a lot of them I would put lots of plants in. Lots of grasses and stuff. And this game doesn't really let you do that and keep your animals happy. Which was a bit disappointing to me. Because, you know, I and they want to, like continent and biome specific plants. Uh, which was kind of annoying because I really like these orange trees. I don't remember what they are. They might be maple trees, I think. Uh, but I, I liked them because they added a nice splash of color in. Uh, but yeah, and oh, I love these bushes. I, I think those are from North America too, but I kept those in just because I like myself a good bit of ground coverage uh, for exhibits because I think it always looks a bit nicer to have that. Anyway, um, yeah, so... Yeah, I mean... I, Oh, I had to, this really annoyed me. I, I didn't realize uh, I, I had to. This is when I really learned how the axis in this game works, and uh, it was it was it was an interesting thing. And then that you know if you do that, you, it resets it all, which was really annoying. Uh, so I think I just kind of left that there for the time being. But yeah, I was a bit annoyed that I couldn't place as many plants as I wanted to. Maybe there's a mod that would let me do that. I don't know. Uh, I think I was texting someone here. <laughs> just a bit annoying. 
Uh, but anyway, uh, yeah, overall. Overall, though, I have to say I'm really enjoying this game. I really want to get learn it better so I can build better exhibits. Um, and I and definitely let me know what you guys are interested in seeing. If you guys want to see more of this, let me know. Let me know what animals you want to see. Uh, I, I'm totally up for trying lots and lots of exhibits. And let me know what kind of episodes I'll do want to see. Do you want to see live episodes where I'm, you see me building it and it's like an hour long video? Or do you want maybe shorter 12 or like probably wait, this is like 15 maybe 15, 20 minute videos that are time lapses? Let me know what you guys want to see. Um, also, I am doing this on a sandbox. I, I don't even know if I said that. Um, but anyway, I think we're about reaching the end. Oh, I tried to make a bridge again, because I tried to make a bridge between the island and that, but it, it just didn't really work. And I don't know the props well enough to really know how to do that. Uh, but yeah. Anyway, I think this is about the end of the time lapse. So I'll catch up with you guys in the uh, live section of the video where I'm kind of touring it. Uh, so I'll see you then. All right, guys, so, um, <laughs> oh, you've just seen me build this exhibit. Um, <laughs> I'm, I'm going to preface some, a few things. I mean, I don't know if I've talked about this in the voiceover for the time lapse, because uh, I've just literally finished recording this, but uh, this is like the third time I've played Planet Zoo. <laughs> so I'm still learning the mechanics, obviously. Like, I, I don't quite understand how everything works yet. Uh, still kind of learning the game. Uh, as you can see, I was trying to do this like glass barrier between you and the fence, and I, I, I think if I work on it a bit more, it'll be pretty good and look kind of nice. And I've kind of got this elevated pathway because I wanted you to be able to come up here and kind of look down at the rhinos. Is there a way to turn the, the HUD off? I don't know. I'll look that up later. Or someone will inform me. Uh, can I have someone refill that? That'd probably be good. Um, but we have our little Indian rhinoceroses here, and they look incredible. I love the animals in this game. They look absolutely fantastic. Um, but yeah, as you can see, like, uh, I, oh gosh, it's not the best looking exhibit. It really isn't. Um, there are people, I've, I've seen people make absolutely incredible things. I did like putting the ivy on this little shelter, but, uh, for me, really not understanding how the game works, I, I feel like it's an, it's an okay start. It's an okay start. I, I like, I actually got the waterfall to somewhat work. I was, I was actually really happy about that. Um, but yeah, we've got, we've got a basic exhibit. I have to say, one thing I'm kind of upset about is that it barely let me put any plants in, because when it comes to like zoo games, I'm used to Zoo Tycoon 2, which if you've never played before, uh, with a couple mods installed, you can basically put as many plants in as you'd like, and I'm used to dinos and wildlife park as well, where, you know, I will just stick as many plants in as I humanly can, because I love putting plants in exhibits. I think it always, lots of trees, lots of grasses, lots of bushes, because I always feel like that makes the exhibit pop a bit more, brings a bit more life into it, stuff like that. So it was a bit disappointing that I couldn't put as many plants in. But, uh, yeah. So, um, <laughs> as you can see, I've kind of got an Asian theme going on. Uh, that doesn't mean all the animals have to be from Asia. I just figured I'd start with Indian rhinoceros, because, uh, I don't know. I like them a lot. Indian rhinos, uh, Indian rhinoceros, Javan rhinos, like, all that kind of stuff. I like, I like a lot of East Asian rhinos. I think they're very cool. The Sumatran rhino is one of my favorites. It'd be really cool if that was in this game. Um, but anyway, I think... I think that's it. So, um, if you guys have any suggestions for ways I can learn to play the game better, so teach me how to play, guys. Uh, if you got any good tips for how I can get around things, because uh, I was a bit annoyed. Um, I don't know if that's going to be in the time lapse or not, but I put a bunch of trees around the side. You can see a couple of them are left, and the game got mad at me for doing that, which was really annoying. I feel like it's because part of the hitbox was in the exhibit, so therefore it counted as being in the exhibit, even though it wasn't, which was annoying. Um, but anyway, yeah, so let me know what animals you guys want to see in the future. What what animals do you want to see me build in the zoo? Um, I plan to hopefully do multiple zoos at some point. Not like not at once, but like, yeah, we'll fill this one out. Uh, I have no idea if this is a big rhino exhibit or not. I don't know this game very well. It seems like a pretty big rhino exhibit to me. Um, I'd definitely like to build custom shelters in the future. I just need to really learn the building system in this game. But anyway, yeah, uh, let me know what you guys think. Uh, let me know future animals we can do. And uh, yeah, until next time, guys. Thank you for watching, and I will see you.